All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, combine, kind of uh, customize some of your reports or results um, in SAS AG. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create some summary statistic or some uh, some basic statistics on my data set and then some, uh, some visual stuff. <clears throat> and then we're going to kind of combine it into one report and kind of play around with some of the... Uh, some of the settings to kind of customize it. Um, so right here I have this uh, Orion uh, Profit data set opened up. And um, first thing I'm going to do is just kind of create some different, get some different results. Uh, so first thing I want to do is uh, we'll just do uh, summary tables to get some uh, statistics. So in case you missed that, it was uh, you go to describe. Uh, for this I'm going to use the wizard for the summary tables wizard right here. So click that and then click next. <clears throat> so I want to get a table that uh, gives us uh, information on profit and we'll have it uh, kind of uh, categorized by a product category. So this is my analysis variable right here and profit will be our analysis variable. So we click add, then profit. Uh, the statistic I want to pop up is I want it to be the average and I also want the standard deviation. So I select profit again and then select the drop down and standard deviation. Click next. And we want this kind of done by a uh, um, customer uh, age group. So if we go to the rows right here, we click add, and then go down to customer age group. And you can see a preview, this is what our, our table will look like. Uh, click next. I don't need the totals, so we'll just go to click none, click next, and click finish. Oops, I did the wrong variable. It's supposed to be product category, not customer age group. So I'll just get rid of that and then product category. Okay, there it is. Next, finish. Okay, there's the right table. <clears throat> so we have uh, the profit of the Orion uh, uh, profit data set. So we have profit, average, profit, standard deviation, and all by product category. Uh, so now let's create some visual stuff. Uh, let's get a pie chart going. So uh, for this, we'll go back to our data set, click graph. I use the pie chart wizard. Click next. And I just want to see the uh, customer age group. So we click down the drop down menu under slice. And we'll do customer age group. And click next. And we'll make it a 3D chart so we can click it in the corner over here. <clears throat> And you can see as over here on the right-hand side, I guess this is a preview of what it'll kind of look like. And our statistics and percentages and all that stuff are on the outside. I want to put everything on the inside. Uh, I also want percentages here as well. So I'll click the percentage, uh, check the box off. <clears throat> and then we just change from outside to inside. Click next and finish. All right, so here's our pie chart of customer age group. And let's get one more uh, uh, graph going. Uh, we'll do a bar chart. So go back to our data set, click graph, do the bar chart wizard. Okay, click next. So for our bars, for this we want, uh, we want to be profit by customer age group this time. Uh, so our bars will be the customer age group and our height will be the profit. Uh, by default, it's the sum, uh, but I want to use the average. So you see the little sigma notation over here. You just click this icon, click average, click OK. And next, we'll do a 3D chart. And we want the colors, uh, the bars colored by the, by the bar category. And for labels, we'll do a uh, Percentages on top, so we click the data labels, and by default, percentages will pop up. That should be it. Click finish. Okay, so here's our bar chart. So right now, our process flow should look like this. You have your writing, da writing data set, uh, the tasks we used, and then these are our reports. So we have three different reports here, but say we want to combine them all into one. Well, this is what we're going to do right now. So uh, there's we can create a reports uh, three different ways uh, we can do the file menu go to new report 
or we can click over here in the process flow, click uh, right click rather, go to new uh, report, or you can actually click the results themselves, right click rather, and then go to create and then report. Uh, so I'll just do file new and report. Okay, so over here on the right hand side, this is our report layout. So we can pretty much customize how we want our report to look. So uh, just for the sake, of, we'll just throw things around. So we'll put pie chart here, uh, bar chart there. Actually, let's move these down. We'll have the summary statistics on, or the summary table rather, on top, just to see how this looks. Uh, click OK. All right, so now it just this condenses all of our results into one, uh, one report. So you see we have our summary tables on top, pie chart, bar chart. Uh, we could move everything around. Can put them on the side. We can change the size. And so now it's condensed a little bit more. So uh, we can also uh, insert text. Let's see. We can do that by right here. You have insert text, insert image. I don't know if I spelled right, but okay. So click OK. And at the very bottom, you see my little text that I just put in there. Uh, we could also put images in here. Uh, right above the, or right below the insert text, we also have insert image. So, and you can just go through your directories and if you have any images you want. Okay, oops. And I'll use this Orion image. And I'll put this at the top. And I'll make it pretty wide. Okay, so there we go. Now we have kind of a a title or something that makes it look more somewhat more professional, I guess. Um, also, we can customize what we want for the headers and footers. Uh, we have these footers down here that kind of kind of make things look cluttered. We can get rid of those. So we have the kind of this little tab up here, the header and footer tab. We'll click that. Let me go to titles and footnotes, and we can just remove all the uh, footnotes. Click OK, and they're all gone. Makes it a little bit more, more uh, uh, pleasant. So now that we have this uh, this kind of report put all together, uh, a lot of times you want to actually export it so you don't have to have somebody open up SAS and kind of navigate through there. You can just actually have your report exported to like a HTML file or a PDF file. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to export it. I'm, for this exercise, I'm going to export it to a uh, PDF file. So the way to do this is you can, uh, on the left-hand side over here, you can right-click report, go export, and then export report. Or you can actually click the report itself over here in the process flow, or right-click it rather. Uh, export, export report. And the first thing that pops up is going to ask us to choose the location where we want to have our file exported. So we'll go ahead and find that. And I'll just call it report. And I want it to be a PDF. Click save. All right. So now it's actually been saved to where we stored it as a PDF. So what we're going to do now is a lot of times we want our our process flow to run automatically when you open up a uh, SAS EG. Well, to do this, we're going to use an auto exec. Basically, to do this, all you do is just change the name from process flow to auto exec. And go to tools, options. And you'll see under the general tab, automatically run auto exec process flow when project opens. When you click this, once you open SAS, everything runs automatically. If you don't click this, you'll have a prompt asking you if you want it to run every time you open up uh, this specific project. So I'll click on that. Click OK. OK, let me save this file real quick.
I'll just call it project for now. Click save. Okay, now I have everything saved. So let me show you how this works. So you go to close project and I'll just reopen it. And there you go, automatically runs everything. Awesome. And also, if we want to see our report, we can, uh, see. wherever we have it saved as, it'll be there as a PDF. Here it is, report PDF. Open it up, see what it looks like. And here it is, awesome. Uh, our customized report exported to a PDF file that can be open uh, anywhere. So this is just some of the basic stuff that you can do as far as uh, customizing, creating your reports makes, uh, makes life a lot easier.